Some years ago, I realized that Trent has some of the most interesting, productive, and innovative scholars in age studies and aging research, but that they come from different disciplines. And rather than isolating aging to a gerontological program or a program in sociology, I thought about forming a research group that would invite people from all walks of research and areas and experience. As long as we held a similar critical and interdisciplinary perspective and shared a series of common problems around aging in the life course and old age. I was incredibly impressed and surprised by the response. At least a dozen scholars from nursing, from English, from sociology, from psychology, from geography, all responded and we started meeting just to talk without a necessary agenda, but just to get to know each other and especially to get to know and share our knowledge of our communities and our relationship to Trent. Out of that group was sparked the idea for the Center for Aging and Society. It was never meant to be a center, but it started to head that way out of circumstance and out of opportunity. The more we got positive response and positive mentorship from our senior colleagues, again, from members of the administration, from members of the community, the more we were encouraged and inspired to do something more with ourselves and also to give something back to our communities that had so supported us. And so slowly, with the um, leadership of people like Mark Skinner and Sally Shivers and my colleagues in sociology like Barb Marshall and Perry Ballantyne and all the others, we started to organize the center. We each worked equally hard. We each started to, through email and through staying up late at night, use our imaginations to see what a center for aging and society would be like in the context of Trent. In terms of relations to other centers at Canada, how we could be very special and how we could also be very innovative and carry out both Trent's mandates, its strategic mandates, its research mandates, and also respond to our growing aging communities in Peterborough and the surrounding areas.